Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Nazar Sarhan versus Sigon Johan, and this is going to be a $25 money match, 1v1, the winner takes the 25 the loser loses the money, also, I am sponsoring Nazar Sarhan in this, I messaged in the Discord on the Coliseum, I said, hey look, anyone that's playing right now, I'll sponsor you for $25, let's run it. So if you also want a chance to have that happen to you, go ahead and check out the Coliseum right now, link, link, link down below at the very top of the description if you want to join it, and then hopping right in, and then we're going to go ahead and see Seong Johan uh, go ahead and decide to go first 40 versus 44, opening hands we got Ash, Gamma, Prediction Princess, Bibolo Moose, uh, Talons, Prediction Princess, Taro, Tarith. Then they have Nerval, Fractal, Gamma, Tanky, Nerval. Okay, so uh, I got I don't I don't know what these cards do. Uh, flip, you can add one Prediction Princess monster except for a copy of itself and one Ritual spell from the decks of the hand. And then if this card is tributed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card and face down defense. You can only use each of the following effects of it once per turn. Uh, okay. Or oh, proceeding, not following. I was about to say following. Yeah, proceeding effects of it once per turn. And then it says, uh, your opponent cannot target ritual monsters you control with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. Then the ritual says, you can ritual this with underworld ritual of prediction. Much Must be ritual summon or special summon by a prediction princess. Tatarari. Okay. Um... You can only use each effect of this once per turn. Quick effect, you can activate one of these effects. Flip any number of face down monsters you control to face up. Flip any number of face up monsters you control to face down. Then it says flip, you can special in one flip monster from your deck face down. Okay, so like, I've seen these cards before. I remember people tried playing them with Shadals a long time ago. But I don't remember these ones. These ones are probably newer. Uh, activate tanky, sure, go grab Fractal, uh, which is a little bit scary because if they, like, Ash Fractal, and then they just have Nerval, our kit, they can actually just play through, um, then they're gonna try to Gamma Ash, Gamma the Gamma, so bring out Gamma, bring out Driver, stop the Fractal, normal summon Nerval, make Omirage, and then Nerval effect, Okay, it's gonna go grab Karaz. Maybe they don't play the Link One. Uh, Karaz effect, discard, special summon. Yeah, I don't know the Link One there would have seemed pretty good because you can like normal Nerval, uh, Nerval banish one, summon, make Blossom, Nerval search, Blossom summon, banish two, bring out uh Bear, and then you can. Go in the Appalooza, search for evil. And then they're going to banish two to summon. Uh, that's going to bring out the Bear Broom. And then go in the Silver. Uh, activate Bear Effect. So it'll go ahead and search for evil, put back. Yeah, that could have been done better if they played the other Link 1. And then pass. Draw Underworld Ritual of Prediction. This card can be used to ritual summon any prediction princess ritual monster from your hand or graveyard in face up attack position or face down position. You must also tribute monsters from your hand or field whose total levels equal or exceed the level of the ritual monster you ritual summon. Okay. During the standby phase, if you control a prediction princess ritual monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard, especially when one non ritual prediction princess monster from your deck in a face down position. So, we're going to activate that. Discard, special, and then they're going to get that effect. I'll uh, set itself. Okay. So, bring that out. They're thinking here. Uh, use this effect to flip. I mean, uh, the opponent probably doesn't even know what these cards do either. So, that's going to flip it. Uh, it's a face-up defense. And then activate that effect now. Go search out the Taro Tree, another one of the Underworld Ritual spells. So this is the one that was out before. This is the one that I kind of remember. Uh, you can Ritual summon this card with Prediction Ritual. Once per turn during your end phase, you can special on one flip monster from your hand or graveyard face down. You can only use the following effects of this once per turn and only once that turn. Quick effect, you can target one face down monster on the field, change it to face up attack position. 
Other effect, you target one face up monster on the field, change it to face down. Okay. Uh, overlay those. Make the Phantom Fortress. And then on Summon, yeah, they have to revolt. Because this card doesn't target. So if they activate the effect, they chain revolt, summon Omen. And this just banishes Omen. So they're going to go ahead. Uh, summon out those now. And then get rid of those. Go in the Omen. It had to be here, of course, because this point's here, not there. And then effects. So Omen, Nerval, Banish, go search kit. Then activate talents to draw, draw prediction ritual and prediction ritual. So this card says, uh, this card can be used to ritual summon prediction princess, this one. Okay. You can, you must tribute monsters from your hand or field whose total level is equal nine or more during your main phase except to turn this into the graveyard. You can banish this card, add one prediction princess monster from the decks of the hand. Um, okay. So you can use this to ritual summon back out from the graveyard. Not sure what that is supposed to do, though. To be honest, I misplayed. I don't know these cards at all. Lol. So, activate. Get rid of that. Summon out from the graveyard. End the main phase. Silver effect. Summon back out from the graveyard. Bring out Kuraz. And then they're going to go battle phase. Attack Amirage. Amirage effect to protect. And that's going to protect the Kuraz. Okay, they admit defeat. On to the next game now. We're going to go ahead and see the Prediction Princess go first. We got Prediction Ritual, Pot of the Forbidden, Prediction Princess Tatarari, uh, Prediction Princess Bibelomoose, and then Underworld Ritual Prediction. They have Nib, Kuraz, Revolt, Kit, Lightning Storm. I don't know. Does this deck play in the Nib? I have no idea. Pot of the Forbidden, Flip. You can activate one of these effects. Uh, draw two, return all spells and traps on the, spells, yeah, on the field to the hand. Third effect, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Fourth effect, look at the opponent's hand. Also shuffle one card from their hand to the deck. These are all supposed to just be, like, banned effects. So it's, like, Pot of the Forbidden. Uh, you can only use each effect of the Pot of Forbidden once per turn. Oh, you can use, only use each effect. So you can use multiple in one turn. So you can draw, look at their hand. Okay. It's funny how this card is just like has two of the same effects as like talents. But they're gonna activate prediction ritual, tribute, bring out, and then effect in the graveyard to summon itself out face down, effect to flip it, and then effect of that. So then that's gonna go ahead and search the prediction princess, Tatarari, and the underworld ritual of the prediction overlay, go for Phantom Fortress, effect a rip. Oh, are we trying to like, you know, hit some cards out of the hand? Okay, so this hits Kit. That's a really, 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 really good hit. That was probably one of the best hits out of the hand. Act with the Underworld Ritual. Uh, bring out from the graveyard. And then end phase effect, especially when back out from the grave. Pass. They draw tanky, though. That's tough. Um, also, this could have been summoned in defense. They want to play around Lightning Storm. Draw phase effect to flip. Okay, then they get that effect. So that's gonna bring out guard dog. Flip your opponent can now special one for the rest of the turn. Oh, that's pretty funny. Okay, so they have a branded expulsion play, and then they can use this to flip it. Okay, so now the opponent can't special one for the rest of the turn, but the lightning storm just cucks. Takes away so much. Activate Tanky, Tanky, go grab Fractal, Fractal effect, discard, and like, that draw was nice because they have Revolt set up, and then Normal Summon Kit, Battle Phase, Attack Over, Set Revolt, Pass, draw Pot of the Forbidden. So this card can banish the search for a prediction, this won't do anything, so we don't have a prediction ritual monster during the standby phase. So main phase, banish to go search, grab the taro tree, and then activate tribute pot of the forbidden one, summon out the prediction princess, then they're going to activate revolt there. Yeah, do that before they try to like set a monster and then instantly just use the effect to flip it and then get something out of it. Okay. I mean, that's just game, right? We don't have any more plays. 
I mean, I'll let them play it out. I'm pretty sure it's just game though. Summon Omen. No! Ugh. Oh, that sucks. I had $25 on this person. I, I didn't know the results until right now. But that's unfortunate. They just took the L. I mean, like, it was cool, I guess. Like, the guard dog. But, yeah, the deck kind of looks like dog water. Pot of the Forbidden is cool. I wanted to see that go off. I wanted to see us Phantom Fortress rip hand, Pot of the Forbidden rip hand. That would have been nice. And then, like, and then guard dog the opponent, rip two cards, and then expulsion them. That would have been a good play. Um, but obviously, we couldn't get there. Otherwise, they would have. The match was only 13 minutes and 50 seconds long, so they did lose there. Um, but like I said... You know, if you're in the Coliseum, um, randomly throughout at least the next week, maybe like once a day or something, I'm just going to be like, hey, you know, I'll sponsor someone's money match, run it. Or, hey, I'll sponsor someone's Iron Man, run it. So, you know, you're going to want to be in the Coliseum if you're going to want a chance to get free money. Like, if Nazar would have won there, they would have been up $25. They lost here. They're down no money because I'm the one that loses the money. So, that's... uh. I guess like a cool opportunity. So make sure to join the Coliseum. Link down below at the top of the description. There's tourneys, money matches, 1v1s, Iron Man's. All of that is there. And yeah, uh, make sure to like the video. So that way uh, the video gets spread more. So that way I try to not lose money off of this. And the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.